Begin with a weather impact alert that's going to affect all of us starting tomorrow here in the valley. We have team coverage on the dangerously hot temperatures. Meteorologist Ginger Jeffries is helping you understand the heat index. But first, meteorologist Lindsay Riley with the weather impact over the next several days. Lindsay, yes, we have a long standing excessive heat warning and the timing will begin at 10 a.m. tomorrow and this is going to extend all the way to next Tuesday. Temperatures as hot as 115 and higher. We have records in jeopardy. Overnight lows will be in the 90 plus range. So over the next several days, you really want to limit any outdoor activity. The hottest part of the day when we see our high temperature is typically between 3 and 5 p.m. But that sun angle is the highest around noon. Drink water even if you're not feeling thirsty and take frequent breaks. Here's where it's going to be the hottest. Western Arizona, all of South Central Arizona, Arizona, lower uh, elevations of Yavapai County and the lower elevations of the Grand Canyon Thursday to Tuesday. The excessive heat warning. Here's a look at that three day forecast temperatures in the 115 to 116 range each and every day through the weekend and right on into next week. We have weather impact alert days from Thursday to Tuesday. As far as records are concerned, we hit 115 tomorrow, which will be shy of a record, but our best chance at a record is is on Friday tying at 116 will be within one degree of a record on Saturday and then 115 again on Sunday. So high dangerous heat for folks heading out to fireworks displays tomorrow. Be prepared for the heat even at 9 p.m. It's going to be 107. So bring plenty of water as you're heading out even late tomorrow night. Tram. All right, Lindsay, thank you. And oftentimes, you know, when we're talking about oppressive heat, you hear the term heat index. So meteorologist Ginger Jeffries joins me now to explain that. What exactly is the heat index? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Ram, because this is something a lot of folks ask. What's the heat index? What's the feels like? They're virtually the same thing. It's how hot it feels when relative humidity is factored in with the actual air temperature. Now, if we get the feels like condition, that's when you also add in the wind chill. But heat index feels like they're very similar. It's what the temperature is compounded into with the addition of moisture. Okay, so how do we figure out exactly what that is? Though? Well, there you go. How Whoa. do you like that formula? Is this math? What's, <laughs> this what's is happening? Massive math. This oh. is actually the formula for how to figure out the heat index. <laughs> don't worry, I got you covered. I don't have time for that kind of math either, even though my mom's a physics professor. So <laughs> there are uh, grids on pretty much every weather site that you can find. So let's just use 96. If it's 96 degrees and we have a dew point at 66, which is a uh, uh, the temperature at which we have a certain amount of humidity. So 66 over to 96, the heat index or what it feels like is 101 degrees. So again, this is everywhere, but this is a chart. Um, obviously, we typically don't see uh, dew points that's high, but oh, that's so interesting. Okay, so that's how it compounds look. It. Yeah, okay, very cool. But our heat is usually dry. So what does that do to the feels like conditions? And that's how we can survive the desert. Let's take right now current conditions. We're at 112 degrees, but the heat index is 108 because when it's so dry, when our humidity is so low, we're actually pulling a lot of that compounding agent, the moisture out of the atmosphere. So our dry heat means that low humidity, humidity will neutralize the heating effect on your body. And also as we get into the next five days of oppressive heat, understand when you're in the shade, it's the same air temperature, right. but it's not as hard on the body. It's about 10 to 15 degrees cooler because yeah. you don't have that solar radiation on the skin. Yeah. So this is a key factor to get through the next five days, even though it will be a dry heat. Yeah, even though it's kind of tolerable in the shade, mm -hmm. but it's still so hot. Yeah, it's yeah. taxing on your body. Not oppressive like what we see with the heat index when it's, you know, up there no because kidding. of humidity levels. All right, let's hope uh, records are not broken yeah. the next and couple of days. Let's hope we don't have to do that math, right? Exactly. That equation. No. Okay, you're bringing up back bad mm -hmm. memories. All right, Ginger, thank you.